Hello, in this tutorial we are going to create a Halloween pumpkin, like one of this. So let's get started. Let's start by adding a sphere. Increase the segments of the sphere to 32. Make the sphere editable. Let's go to points mode and change from perspective to front view. Select the rectangle selection and turn off only select visible elements. Select half of the sphere using the rectangle selection tool, like this. And delete this part. Let's now add a symmetry. Let's go here and select symmetry. Take the sphere and put it inside the symmetry. Now let's start with the face of the pumpkin. Press MK. to get the knife tool and make a cut like this one cut right here and the last one here now take your live selection tool and select these three points press MQ for weld and weld the points right here click Okay. Let's take the knife tool again by pressing MK and make a cut right here for the nose. Let's now start with the mouth. We need to make an X right here. Another one here. One more. And the last one. Now make a single cut right here, like this, and a single cut over here. And make some X, make some X right here. Okay. This one. Okay. Let's go to Polygon mode, select the symmetry and make it editable. Now you have a symmetry node and a sphere. Select the sphere and holding down shift, select the eyes and the mouth. Select the parts and the mouth. Okay, like this. Press MW for extrude inner. Go to offset and change to 1 and press apply. Select the nose. Press MW for extrude inner and hit apply. Now Hold down shift and select the eyes and the mouth, like this. Select the parts that are inside. Okay, like this. Not this part, this. Okay, the eyes. Now delete the parts that you have. Let's go to points mode, make sure nothing is selected. Right click, optimize. Okay, we have it. Now 
Now let's go to edge mode and press UL for loop selection. Turn on stop at boundary edge and greedy search. Now make a selection here. Skip one and take the next. Make sure you select this part in the middle. Skip one and select the next. Now skip two edges. One, two and select. Skip one edge and select. And skip two edges again and select and last skip one and select. We have these parts. Let's see if we need the edges. Okay, we need this one. Take the live selection tool and select the edge that is right here in the eye go to the nose and select the one that is in the middle not this okay and go to the eye and select the edge this right here not this Now, take the scale tool, turn off the Y axis and scale down to 90. Press shift to make it easy. Okay, turn on the Y. Okay, we have this one. Let's add a subdivision surface. Put the symmetry node inside. Okay, this is what we have so far. Okay, now let's go close to the nose. Select the sphere in edge mode and press UB. Or ring selection and select this one. Now press UL for loop selection, turn off everything, select this part and now press MR for wake subdivision surface. Hold down left mouse click and move till you get something like this. This is the subdivision, wait. Turn off the subdivision surface. And go to point mode. Change the perspective to the right. Take the rectangle tool again. Make sure only select visible elements is off. And make a selection like this. Let's now go to the move tool. Go to soft selection tab. And select enable. Change the follow to spline and the radius to 55. Okay, this is the soft selection. The yellow part. Let's go to the spline and move the middle point like this, move it up and line it with the first one, like this. Take the last point and move it right in the middle and up, exactly like this. Move this part to have something like this spline. Now move down to right. 11 K have it. T 
take the rectangle tool again and make a selection like this. Change the radius to 65. Take the move tool and move out till 10.9 or 11. 11. No, 10.9. Okay. Now let's turn off the self selection and take the live selection tool. Let's go to polygons mode. Go to the top part of the sphere and press UL for loop selection and select these two parts. Now press UD to disconnect. Let's go to Mesh, Conversion, Polygons Group to Objects. Now you have three spheres, Sphere 1, Sphere 2, and put it out, Sphere 1, Sphere 2, and delete the last one. Let's change the name of these spheres. This will be Top Cap, and the Sphere 1 will be the Face. Change the symmetry node name to pumpkin. Hide the top cap by clicking right here. We we'll get this. Take the face, hold down control and drag down to make a copy. Take this new copy, go to Model, take the Scale tool, make sure all the axes are on, and scale down a little bit. That will depend on what you want. Okay, like this, a little bit more. Select face and face one. Go to edge mode. And press U L. Make a selection of the mouth like this. Press MP for stitch and sew. Hold down shift and move from this edge to the second edge. Like this to create a bridge. Let's repeat this action. First UL for loop selection like this, then MP for stitch and sew, hold down shift and move from one edge to the other. One more time, UL, loop selection, MP for stitch and sew, hold down shift and move. One more. UL for loop selection, MP for stitch and sew, hold on shift and move, and the last one on the top, press UL for loop selection, MP for stitch and sew, hold on shift and move, we have the outside of our pumpkin and the inside. Let's take these two faces, right click, connect objects and delete to get one single object. Let's go to polygon mode 
right click optimize we got it change the font tag to 35 to get something like this this is what we have so far Turn off the face and turn on the top cap. Let's go to the top cap. In polygon mode, select the top cap, press UL for loop selection, this and this. And now press MT to extrude. Change the offset to minus 15 and hit apply. Turn on create caps. Have like this. Let's press UL for loop selection. Select the middle part. And now press MW for extrude inner and extrude about three. Let's now press MT for extrude. Turn off create caps and change the offset to minus 20. And click apply. Let's now unselect everything and press M key for the knife tool. Change the mode to loop and make three cuts one, two, and three. Okay, this is the top cut. Let's press MK for knife tool and make a cut right here. Press shift to freeze the cut and go to the offset and hit 5 and then click to create the cut. Let's now press UL and select this part. Move to the bottom part and press UF for fill selection. Holding down shift and select. Let's now press UI to invert the selection. Now press UR to reverse the normals. And now we have this part. OK. Turn off the top cap and press UL for loop selection. Select this part. Go to the eyes and select this part and the two eyes this one go to the nose and select this part and finally to the mouth and select this part let's press UF hold down shift and select the inside
now press UA to align normals. Now, as you can see, inside is blue and the outside is yellow. The yellow part is the front of the face and the blue part is the back of the face of the polygon. This is very important. We need it in this way. Let's now select the top cap in points mode. Control A to select everything and see the axis. Let's go to the mesh, axis center, axis center, point center, and hit execute. Let's go to the deformers and take the bend deformer and the taper. Take the bend deformer and put it inside the top cup. Go to the bent coordinates and put zero in everything. Go back to the object tab in the bend and press fit to parent. Let's fit this with the part in the center of the top cup, like this. Move it up, like that. Okay, and now increase the strength, like this. It will all depends on what you want. Take the taper and put it inside the bend deformer. Go to the coordinates and press 0 in everything. Go back to the object and press fit to parent. Now put the taper above the bend and increase the strength like this. This looks great. Select the top cap and the two deformers, right click, current state to object, to create a new object. Take this new top cap and delete the one with the deformers. Now in model, select the pumpkin node. Go to the scale tool, turn off Y and increase down a little bit, like this, uh, 90, 95, something like that, okay, we got it, uh, we have a pumpkin, our fifth pumpkin, okay, let's continue with the texture. Let's now start to create a studio. Go to the primitives and add a disk. Make it a bigger. It will all depends on what you want or what you need. Let's add a sky object. Now create the material. Go to the color and select a dark gray color. Turn off specular and add this material to the sky and to the disk. Select the texture tag that is in the disk and change the projection to frontal. Right click on the disk, Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing. Let's turn on Compositing Background. Not that.
on positive background, hold down control and drag it to the sky and turn off scene by reflection. Let's now move the pumpkin up like that. Okay. And finally, change the name of the material. Create a null, change the name to studio, and add the sky and the disk. And we have our studio. We can now start with the texture. Let's go to the subdivision surface and change the subdivision UV to edge. Let's now create a material by double click on the material. Let's go inside this material, go to the specular channel and change the fall off to minus 20. Let's go to the color channel, texture, layer. Let's go inside this layer to start. Click on shader, go to effects, fall off. Let's go inside this fall off and let's see the colors. First type 11 and let's see what colors do we need first for this pumpkin. Maybe a darker like this. Yes, let's take this dark brown. Select the second node, type 11 again, and select. A lighter color like this one. Select the third node and change a little bit the yellow. Let's go back to the layer and change the blend mode to multiply. Reduce the strength to 75. Let's go to the shader again, select Fresnel. Put this below and let's go inside. Select the black node and change its position to 50. Okay, let's go back to the layer and change the blend mode to overlay. Reduce the strength to 25. Let's go to the shader again and select the noise. Put this noise at the end. Let's go inside this noise and change it to box. Let's now change the color. The first color will be white and the second one will be um, a little orange, like 26 degrees, and right here, like that. Let's change the global scale to a uh, 50. Go back to the layer and change the blend mode to multiply. Reduce the strength to 35. Let's create a noise again. Put it at the end. And let's go inside this noise and change it to Wabi Turbulence. Increase the global scale to 250. 
and the y to 1000. Let's move down and increase the low clip to 10. Go back to the layer and change the blend mode to overlay. Reduce the strength to 50 and create a new noise. Take this new noise at the end, go inside and change it to Displace Turbulence. Change the global scale to 55 and change the second color and let's see with lighter color in the two, let's see. Uh, Um, let's take the first one and the second and make this a little darker. Ah, that's good. Leave this as it is and we have our base texture. Let's go back to the color, go to the texture, fusion, go inside this fusion, right click on base channel, copy, right click on blend channel and paste, turn on use mask. Select the mask channel. Go to Effects, Normal Direction. Take the Paste channel and change the fall off to something with yellow. Okay, let's add yellow to all these colors. Okay, this one. This one a little bit green. Okay, let's take this one and change the color. Something with yellow. Okay, and the one at the end. This with yellow and this one too. Let's go inside this noise and change it to Luca. Reduce the global scale and the Y scale to 100 and maybe 75 in global scale. We have our second texture for this pumpkin, which is the inside. Let's change the name of this material to Pumpkin. Let's now add this Pumpkin to the subdivision surface. We have our Pumpkin. Let's start. Let's now go to the color, right click on texture, Copy. Turn on luminance, right click on texture, paste. Go inside and change this channel to a black color. Like this. Go to the bump channel right click on texture paste let's go inside this fusion and delete the fall off and change the other colors to black and white like this and uh, this is good okay this one in white and this part in black okay let's now do the same thing with the other delete the fall off Change this color to white and this one to black. 
say one more which is this to black okay now our pumpkin has a bump let's go to the reflection texture fusion let's go inside this fusion turn on use mask go to the mask channel effects normal direction again let's click on this blend channel and add a color like 25 in RGB Twenty-five, yes. Let's go to the base channel and add a color uh, three in RGB. We are using these two colors to control the amount of reflection on our pumpkin. Let's see what we have. Oh, we need to, let's go back to the material and add some blurriness in the reflection, like 6.5. You can experiment with this. All right. Hold on control and drag to make a copy. Double click on this new texture and change the name to stamp. Let's go to the reflection and clear the texture. Decrease the brightness to 3. Go to the pump channel and clear. Turn off the luminance and let's go to the color. Go inside this fusion. Okay, inside. Right click on blend channel. Copy. Go inside and clear this texture. Right click and paste. Go inside this new layer and change it to green. All the colors in green. All of them. Let's change this one and the last one right here. Let's change uh, this to green. Okay. The last noise to green too. Like, all right, uh, like. Probably 93, yes. Okay. Let's go back to the layer. Hold down control and drag down this noise to create a copy. Let's go inside this new noise and change it to Luca. Reduce the scale and the global scale to 100. Change the color to something orange like this one and this one now darker. Dark. Okay, like that. Reduce the strange to a 9089. And we have our stump. Let's select the top cap, go to polygon mode, UL on your keyboard, select this part, UF for field selection, hold on shift and select. Okay, we now go to select, set selection. Add 
this stump material on the subdivision surface and add this tag selection on the selection of this new material and we have our pumpkin basically our pumpkin is ready we can now adjust what we need and we can add some lights just to see what happens let's go to the lights add a target light change the type and the shadow to area go to details turn on show in reflection and reduce the visibility to 45 add a inverse square clamp fall off okay and let's adjust you can play with your lights in any way you like it let's see let's reduce the fall off okay let's change hold on control and let's make a copy put this closer and up in y okay let's see um, oh it has a target we can change it let's move it adjust this let's probably uh, move up and more move up and reduce the fall off let's change the intensity to 80 and this one to maybe 95 let's hold down control and create a copy of this slide let's turn on turn off the shadow and the specular increase to 90 and zero in all the coordinates let's move it in this place change this shape move the target light up a little bit let's turn off the show in reflection for this light go to general tab and let's change it for a light blue like this one okay let's see what we have we have a basic light you can use any light configuration that you want this is our pumpkin this is basically the final pumpkin you can now make a copy of this pumpkin and use some deformers like the taper to give it a different shape a little bit different let's see what can we make with this taper let's change the strength move it move it up change the curvature like that you can experiment with this and create different pumpkins you can even start one pumpkin and change uh, the shape of the eyes the shape of the mouth the noise uh, the position of the stump everything that you want and we have these two pumpkins that we can use 
Okay. Four pumpkins are done. And this is it. We have our pumpkins. I hope you like this tutorial and have a happy Halloween.